I think in a day I use about three hours of social media. When I'm around people, social media is a bit distracting because like, I just want to go on my phone so I don't always talk to people. I'd say my social media is for my friends and followers because I post things on it. Social media is quite distracting from other activities, watching a film but also chatting so you don't get the full film. Um, if I'm out with my friends, I'll probably be on my phone and then start ignoring them. Can you believe that 2.6 billion people can't use a clean toilet, but only 1 billion people don't have access to a mobile phone? To prove that you're not completely addicted to your phone, you will have a one-week social media cleanse. To make things more interesting, you'll be given a new challenge to complete every day. I'm going to be positive and say, yeah, I think I can do this. I think I can give up social media for a week. Yeah! On average, people aged 15 to 19 spend at least three hours a day on social media. Think about all the other things you could be doing instead. Okay, so think back to a time before social media. Now think about all the hobbies you used to enjoy back then. For this challenge, you will spend some time enjoying one of your old hobbies and try not to use your phone during this time. I'm going to basically do a drawing that I've already started and I'm going to finish it. going to add some colour to it. Did some reading and some knitting. Not finished yet, but getting there. I think it went good. There we are. And that was the task, so our task was a success. Um, it's been quite boring, but obviously that was to be expected. Did you know that 70% of people say that using social media has made them less social? Most people feel like they wouldn't be able to talk to their friends at all if they didn't have their phones. This challenge will be easy to complete. All you need to do is meet up with at least two people without using group chats or anything similar. And of course, no social media. So, I successfully met two people. I rang around a few people and these were the only two available. <laughs> I'm going to try and ring someone to get them to come out. Let's start with Amy Kavanagh. So, today was again another successful day. We managed to go to town like my task asked me to and had some fun. Today went badly and I couldn't meet up with anyone because no one answered the phone. 49% of teenagers now find out about the news from social networking websites. More and more young people are using apps such as Snapchat and Twitter to, f to keep up to date with the things happening across the globe. Your challenge today is another easy one. Learn about a big piece of news without using the internet to find out. Since Carillion went under in January, a tour with the chief executive I have never been so bored. Today went alright. I found out some news, but it was really boring. I prefer Snapchat for news because it's like more to my target age group. Uh, but I did go on Facebook. I don't think I've ever read a full newspaper in my life, but today I did. Yeah, I think it was a bit funny this morning when I couldn't actually find a way of finding the news without my phone. An average of 9 out of 10 students are distracted by social network updates during lectures. Unfortunately, students don't focus as well as they think they can when they're looking at a meme they've been tagged in. This doesn't just apply to lecture times. People are always on their phones when doing other things. So, your fourth challenge will be to do something productive or creative and give it your full attention. I chose to do some college work. Productive much? Yes. I'm glad that I had that task really because <clears throat> I had this wallet full of assignments. I was definitely creative. I think I went a bit insane. I think that's sort of why I need social media to distract me and slow me down so that I don't go quite as mad. And I also reinstalled Snapchat. 84% of people worldwide said they couldn't go without their phones for a single day. This must be a serious addiction for these people if they can't go just one day, 24 hours, without their phone. Yet this addiction is treated as if it's a normal thing. Don't worry, this challenge isn't going to make you try to spend a whole day without your phone. To complete the challenge, all you need to do is go one hour without your phone. You'll also need to leave your house and spend this time on your own. On my way to my bus stop, all by myself. <laughs> yeah, so, about ten minutes into the one hour challenge. I have decided to ride my bicycle. I successfully did my task this morning, I went out by myself for longer than an hour and didn't use my phone. Today I went on my bike. That was fun, didn't have to use social media because I was on my bike. I'm surprised to say this past week's actually been a first success. 
This past week has been terrible. Sometimes I did feel like I couldn't really get into contact with people. I did not feel isolated or lost because I had my trusty dog, Shirley. Um, this week has definitely been more productive. I got three assignments done and I helped my friend with two assignments, so yeah, that's always good. My days have been much more productive, but I am willing to sacrifice that productivity for my social media back because I miss it so much. Instead of going online, I did things like drawing. Um, I coloured at one point. <laughs> I accidentally went on Facebook Messenger a few times. But I didn't go on Instagram because that's not important. But I did go on Snapchat and Facebook a little bit. After this experience, I think I'm just going to use social media as much as I was before. If anything, it's made me appreciate social media more. In the future, I will use social media more in defiance of this torturous experiment.